In this video, I'm going to cover how you can put together an effective coaching plan. And when you are starting to put together your coaching plan, the most important question to ask is, what does the client want to achieve from this? Because you need to know what your client wants in order to help him to get it. So a good way to ascertain this is to put together a questionnaire. And you want to look at the client's objectives. You know, what do they want to achieve? But you also want to concentrate on the root cause of any weakness that the client may have within his organization if you're doing business coaching or weaknesses in people's lives if you're doing life coaching. So you want to drill down and find out exactly why the client isn't achieving his or her objective already. And this will indicate where they need the most help. Because sometimes the objective is well within the client's grasp. They just simply don't know how to do it. And that might well be your task is to empower that person, is to give them the how to achieve the what. And it's crucial that you get the overall picture first. Just like an artist, just like this guy here in this picture, surveys the entire landscape first before deciding on what aspect of it he wants to paint, you must look at how the organization functions if you're looking at a business. You, know, you must see how it functions in its entirety. You must see how a department functions and fits into a larger organization if you're looking at a department within a business. Or you want to see how the person's life fits together with other people they come into contact with, both in their personal and professional lives, if you're doing life coaching. Now, this is a tall order and it shouldn't be rushed. But the more information you can find, the more background you can get, uh, the better a job you're going to be able to do. And once you've got the root cause nailed, you can put together a coaching plan to overcome that and you can help the client achieve their objective. Now, when it comes to doing that, when it comes to putting the uh, plan together, uh, I always think about the things that Dr. Stephen Covey, the late Dr. Stephen Covey, put in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the number one thing that he says is begin with the end in mind. So what you want to do is define the final objective and work backwards from that. Obviously, things aren't going to go smoothly all the time. So you should anticipate any roadblocks on the way to success and keep your plan flexible and you should tweak it when necessary. Now, if this is a coaching plan for a team, then you need to define a plan for each individual and you need to work out how that plan fits into the overall goals for the organization. And if you're doing business coaching, then you should work closely with the individual and their line manager on this. Now, this can be very complicated. So if you're just starting out, it's best to concentrate on smaller projects first, coaching individuals, say individual entrepreneurs and that sort of thing. Something else that you should do is to determine what I call mile markers. Now, these are interim goals that need to be achieved as you work towards the greater objective. And setting and achieving these boosts confidence and it breaks the larger task down into smaller ones. And so you'll know when you've reached a certain point that you're actually getting closer and closer to achieving the overall goal. You also need to work out what resources if any, are going to be needed to uh, help the client achieve this a particular objective. And you need to find out if they can be afforded. You also need to set the time frame for achieving these objectives. So what you want to do is work out how long you think it would take to achieve the client's objectives and then double it. Because these things always take longer than you and the client think always it's human nature i suppose we always think that things are going to be quicker than they actually are so 
if you work out how long you think it'll take and then double it, you'll come in sooner than you've uh, anticipated. So then you want to put your plan into action. You want to get constant feedback from your client to make sure that you're both on the right track. And then you want to tweak your plan as you go. And then work your plan through and the client will achieve his or her goal with your assistance. So there you go. That's how to put together an effective coaching plan.